So after a troubled development, and bar any more delays, last minute delays, it looks like the System Shock remake from Night Dive Studios will be released this coming summer. There was a demo that was released last summer, which I did a video on at the time, and now there's a new version of the demo recently released. I streamed it recently, which you can check out in the description, but let's take a bit of a gander at what this demo has in store. Performance-wise, this demo is a bit more refined. I didn't have any major stutters or glitches. There's a ton of little small improvements over the previous demo, and hey, being able to quick save and quick load now? Great after dying. You can pretty much pick up everything now and have in your inventory, even if the item has no use, which wasn't there in the previous demo. One of the major issues I had with the previous demo was the combat, especially melee. It lacked a lot of oomph. It does have more oomph now, and it's nice that enemies can be dismembered. But there's still something missing in the kick of combat. There still needs to be a bit more feedback with the hits. Hopefully the final version gets this right. We're doing extra damage, we can make use of the Berserk patches to go into a bit of a frenzy mode and fuck shit up. But now we also have the drugged out feedback while using it. There's still the issue of using these patches along with many patches where hitting the key uses it automatically. I wish you had to select it first, then use it. Think of how Deus Ex made use of the med kit in the game. Whether that's something that gets changed for the final version, again, we'll wait and see. Not a deal breaker. And this game looks great in the more dreary, dark approach in comparison to the original. You can see influence from games like Dead Space, which in turn were heavily influenced by the original System Shock, and the game has a very Unreal Engine feel to its look. Of course, being that it uses the Unreal Engine. And it could be dark, like, too dark in places. There wasn't any brightness settings at the time, but again, no doubt the final version will have something along those lines. I did come across this weird thing where setting the shadows to medium makes it way brighter and vastly improves the experience. Again, I'm chalking this one up to ironing out the kinks before the final game is released. Another major change compared to the older demo now has the new voice acting, as the previous demo made use of the original System Shock's voice acting. And so far, I like what I'm hearing. It's more fitting for the atmosphere and vibe that they're going for in the remake. Feels a lot more dramatic, for better lack of a term. First things first, get something to defend yourself with. You're gonna need it. Things on Citadel Station are bad, very bad. The comms are dead and there is strong evidence of a biological contamination on board. And that's not the worst part. Is charging for a possible strike against Earth. There's a man named Nathan Darcy who may know something about taking the laser offline. His office is near the central hub on your level. And yes, that's Terry Brosius returning for the voice of Shodan. She still sounds great. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. <laughs> As this is early in the game, she's not as corrupted as she ends up later, so I'm curious to hear how she will sound as the game progresses. Who are you? The computer nodes can be repaired, but you... Who are you? I do feel that the mix was a bit low here when activating the audio logs, so I do hope in the final version it gets bumped up a bit. On that note as well, the enemies have been much more fleshed out with their audio cues, and just like I mentioned, I do think they need to be a bit louder with their audio cues for indication on if we've killed them. It's going to take a bit of time to get used to them compared to the originals, but hey, that's how it's always going to be. Oh, and some of these enemies can be really sneaky. I got caught off guard by one of the assassins, and I didn't realize they dropped a proxy mine on the ground. Earth, allowing me to reshape the in insect. The insect. On the note of dying, it does take a fair amount of time to be resurrected at a restoration bay as opposed to the original, which did so fairly quickly. Hopefully it's something that we could skip in the final version, or it gets condensed down. I'm curious to see if we get a game over cutscene like the original of dying on a level where we haven't enabled the restoration bay yet. And of course, the most notable feature that's added to this demo of System Shock Remake is cyberspace. We got a preview of what it looked like a few months ago, so how does it play? In my System Shock review, I mentioned that cyberspace section felt like a bit of a missed opportunity, something that the development team admitted to as well. Night Dive obviously spent quite a bit of time working on the cyberspace section, and so far, what I played, really promising, really great. Gone are the awkward controls of cyberspace. It has a very EDM feel, for better lack of a term in regards to its visuals.
Now the main question is, will it hold up for the rest of the game? You didn't have to make use of cyberspace that often in System Shock, and in many cases it was optional. And I'm wondering if the last encounter with Shodan will still be set in cyberspace. An area in the original where I nearly rage quit at the end due to getting lost in cyberspace. That said, I really like what I've played with this so far in regards to the cyberspace. So again, like the previous demo, we just have access to the medical level. We'll have to wait and see the rest in the final version. I'll also note that while the overall level designs are the same, there are some tweaks here and there and some additions to various rooms. While there's been some previews here and there what to expect at the other levels, if the quality remains throughout, this is going to be a great remake of the cult classic. Hopefully it hasn't been a case where they spent all the upfront time here and rushed the later levels in the game. Remakes are a tricky thing, especially when you're doing a remake of a cult classic. This isn't like Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is licensed to print money. Here comes the money! Here we go! Thanks for the money, dummies. You'll have a number of people who are familiar with the original, you'll have a number of people who've only played System Shock 2, and you might have others who've never played either, probably played the Bioshock games, but they're aware of the significance of the previous two. It's always going to be a balance of getting all those aspects right to pleasing its different audience. So I'm really curious to see how the full release turns out. The quality holds up the rest of the game, we'll have more than worth the update of the original. And besides, who the fuck knows what's going to happen with System Shock 3? I think that one just might be a lost cause at this point. Anyways, that's just a little preview of the System Shock remake. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. Check out my Patreon if you want to get access to these videos earlier, get featured in the credits, get my weekly newsletter. I've read everyone. Boulder Punch out.